Google just revealed a fascinating new prototype for artificial intelligence hardware. It's a synthesizer for making unusual sounds that are based on real sounds from real life. Google is also making the designs available on GitHub so developers can make their own at home. The NSynth Super, as it's called, isn't something that you can buy in a store, like the Pixel phone or the Google Home speaker, because it's just a research project. It came about basically because there were some people at Google who decided to make a hardware version of the software synthesizer that they came up with last year. This isn't even a product that shows Google wants to do more in the music gear business, like Korg or Roland. It's more just that Google wants to show what's possible with the AI software that it has previously developed. And I could almost just just zone out, just trying to understand like where the sound goes and move it very slowly. And I, I don't expect <laughs> anybody to ever want to listen to this, but I still value it. And I, I value like the idea of people just making music because it's pleasurable to make music and it's intellectually engaging to make music. For me, it's sound exploration. Try it out this year. Many people think that Google has more AI talent than pretty much any other company, and so it can pull off projects like this, even though it's not necessarily likely to get incorporated into any other Google product like YouTube. Instead, it shows what's technically possible, and other companies just aren't doing this. And it shows that AI can play a helpful role in the creative process. In other words, it's more proof that AI can actually do a little bit of good in the world. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.